problem comes near me, and I'll just hit him with a five-pound pickaxe. Now, you don't understand, Nestor. They come up from underneath the ground, and they grab you. Because they sense the slightest vibration through the ground, even footsteps. And that's how they hunt. Hey, so like we don't vibrate, right? Maybe they won't even come to here. Maybe they'll leave us alone. Chainsaw, that's what I'll use. Hey, 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 wake up! Now, look! You see, they're headed right for us. Look, they trapped Edgar here, grabbed old Fred right here, nailed those two poor suckers on the road, and the doctor's place is right here. Now, this valley is just one long smorgasbord. We have got to get out. I'm gonna go get Mindy. Oh, she's okay. I started playing down the street. That's what I like. Graboid. That's it, Graboid. Jesus, Walter. We're gonna be sorry you don't give it a name. Okay, Val, you say let's get out of here. So where are we supposed to go? Well, Rhonda's got an idea about that. Yeah, see, they move very easily through the Pleistocene alluvials. The dirt. The loose soil that covers the valley floor. But they can't move through rock. So I think we should head west to the mountains. She means up the old Jeep trail. Yeah, those mountains are solid granite. We'd be safe there, and we could hike along them all the way to Bixie. Ah! We... Ah! <laughs> I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> you little asswipe. You don't knock it off, you're gonna be ah! shitting this basketball. Pardon my French. Mindy? Mindy? Thank <laughs> you. 